Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. This is the uh, Smos Talladega Race 10. Uh, we're 10 races into the season. And uh, boy, I tell you what, the points lead is insane right now. So Sam Oskin has accumulated two wins this season. He's already tied that with two wins last season. Uh, both his wins last season came at Kansas. This season I think he won... Um, I'm not mistaken, he won Vegas, and then I think he just won the uh, Indianapolis road course, which I did make a mistake there with the weather and whatnot, so we'll have to, uh, he won. if we do end up he going won. back to Indianapolis road course, which i am be honest, I don't think we will, but if we ever do, I'm going to have to remember to change the weather for that. Um, yeah, he won Texas and Auto Club. Well, I know Eric won t Auto Club, so um, he could have won Texas, though. I can't remember who won Texas. No, no, Mark or Leonard won Texas. Because Oskin won Dega. Wait, no, maybe Leonard won... Uh, yeah, because the... we're on the ninth race, so let me, let me he look. won. So Oskin... No, no, no. So you might be right, but uh, Leonard won Denver... Okay, you're right. He did win Texas. Who won Vegas? Didn't we go to Vegas? He didn't win Vegas. He won Auto Club. No, uh, Monica won Auto Club. He won Texas and G in the Indy GP. Forgot who won Vegas though. Who won Vegas? Was it him again? I think. Did he go back to back that week? Um. Skyler Taylor won Las Vegas. That checks out. Curious as to where they're in standings. Yeah, Skyler Taylor won Vegas. Skyler Taylor actually uh, tenth of the standings right now. But um, nonetheless, Caden Williams starting pole. He won the CCS race here. Uh, I think the uh, Savage Choice Show 500 uh, back in fall of 2022. So he is no stranger to winning at this track. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the engine started. Mole. Uh, Kind of cut it out of time, Reggie, but I'll ask you if you have any threats after that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. Drive on! Start your engine! Command's been given, and you said you didn't have any initial thoughts, Reggie? No, I don't. All right, well, you can call the green here. It looks like uh, there might be something popping on the chat. 75, Azrael Dreamer, maybe having some mechanical issues. I know he, won Indy, he won Indy in Texas. Yes. As well. Yes, that would be correct. But it looks like uh, Azrael Dreamer is going to be starting from the pit road. They may not be able to start this race. Start with engine damage, so not a good start for them. I know I've been tooting their horn about getting really good starting positions, but I haven't had the finishes to to show for it. Um, despite all that, 18th in standings, which is better than last season for that 75 team, so not all bad. But we'll see how it goes. This is Talladega. Got a rookie in the field, by the way. That's uh, Isaac Jacobs and the 33 John Deere Chevrolet. We'll get to them here in a minute once we go green. Get a few laps in. Won't go too much over it, but... There's a person making their debut. 40 car field. Yeah, Reggie, you can take it away for the green flag. Call. Green, green, green. Already a car poking out in the back. That is Silas Wilmot. And you see the 33 in their debut already taking a three wide in the back. But Caden Williams holding up front. Got a little bit of a gap that allows Sam Oskin, last week's winner, uh, to pull behind that. Alex oh, Lord. Back. It's, full. it's three wide back there. Like almost four. It's like uh, seeing Alex Tanker going a little bit. Here's... Uh, Genghis Khan, 37. Skylar Taylor in the middle. And Angie Johnson, as well as David Don. As oh, well. boy. Oh, boy. Lap one. Lap number one. Looks like that's going to go to the 25. Caden Williams. Riley Gorse behind that. Weren't really paying attention, but we've seen a other um, seen a track house and uh, John Patrol Rotorsports come up here. Two track house cars, teammates on the bottom is Brandon Nelson and 
Kyler Sustre, led by Riley Gorson, the 16, who, uh, keep in mind, dominated Denver, but unfortunately was not able to close out the win. Um, that's a missing ring for sure for that 16 team. I don't believe they've won a smallest race yet. Caden Williams already left out to drive with Sam Oskin on the top. Not seeing a lot of cars on that third lane. See Ian Styles back a little bit from that. Potato Boy going low here. Shustre may get left, well, in that second lane as Five is going to take a little bit of lead here. Here comes Brock Nelson, who had a really good season last year. I I think he won the Smoss Championship. Yeah, Very wide. In their debut, mm -hmm. the 33 of Isaac Jacobs. Four wide into turn one. How in the world they make it out of that? Not sure. Cooper right behind that. We were talking about those K&K &K cars. They've also been very good in starting positions, but have not been able to close out the deal. But Isaac they Jacobs in their three, debut. They were three, four wide deep. Brandon in Nelson in the five. They go in the back. Oh, sorry about that. Brandon Nelson, the five, looking to lead another lap. We were talking about Brock Nelson. He's already fallen outside. I think the top five, already out of the top five, but maybe out of the top ten at this point. We'll see how that sh uh, goes no, to me. Uh, Nelson's up front. I'm talking about Brock Nelson, 51. Oh. He's leading that oh, second Brandon's line on brother. the top. Me, Brandon's brother. I don't, think, I don't think they're related. Very common last name. Unless I'm told otherwise by either of them, that they're related, which I highly doubt they are. I know Brandon, I believe, uh, claimed as Australia is. It looks like the 33 Isaac Jacobs. Granted, we don't see a lot, but you know, when Talladega is your debut, every once in a while you see someone uh, win, or not win, but lead a lap in their debut. And this uh, may happen here if NH doesn't have anything to say about it, or again, just con. Three wide. Why does Monaco have yellow stripes on the back of the car? He's not a rookie. Oh yeah, I didn't update the paint scheme. Or I did. It's the same paint scheme from last season. I haven't had. I didn't take off the stripes. You'll see that with a few of these cars, like Cooper and Clifton and um, N8 or not N8, uh -oh. but uh, the 17, the 07, the three. There's a, quite a few of them. Here comes the track cars coming back to the front. Uh, Again, just caught on 37. Uh, that's actually, I believe, a shake and bake racing, if that's still a thing. It's actually a uh, satellite yeah. team to Trek House. So technically, yes. a Trek House team. Um, he he, he's had some really good. He's had some really good runs in his career. I think two wins last two seasons each. Um, Teammate. Sure. Going pretty good for him. And an EXO who led the points for quite a decent stint there for a bit. Highest guy in standings without a win. He's currently 55 back from the leader. Yeah, Con, Con and, and Melissa and Melissa are teammates to try out. Linda Jones, the 58. Uh, they've had a pretty un, not not as good as last season, but 10 races in, a lot could happen. Currently, yeah. 20th in the standings. So eh. yeah, the 58 and the 37 teammates to try out. Shake and Bake Racing, a satellite team to track house. But, yeah, like I was saying, just there's quite a few cars in this field that still have rookie stripes from last season. or some that were from this season as well. Oh, they're going to be right there. Like uh, the 83, Almost maybe. 83, a Thunder 24 fan. <laughs> Peek on a little bit there in the middle. Side against it. Uh, tough to tear in front of that. Now, uh... Unfortunately, a 33 Isaac Jacobs was not able to lead that lap. They were uh, beaten by uh, Genghis Khan, who did eventually take the lead. But you can't see him right now, but that's because of the drawing distance I have set for this game. That way my game don't crash from recording these, but 37 still up front. Daytona winner Craig Pockers up here in the top. Well, was top. Well, I think he's still in top five up until Nimrod gets around on the bottom. we got a long ways to go. Yeah, 50 laps. Could go all green question is if it goes all green will they make it on fuel i think they will but there is a chance they might not no it's th it's 40 laps for fuel that, so they don't have to come down four wide and one that's quadruped 23 i heard you said 40 yes. laps so yeah they want to come down we will see better 
remember this is on 1x where as well, so I don't know if it'll be a factor or not. Clifton made some a little bit of noise. They usually do in the beginning of the season. Teammate right behind them, Jeremy Frey. They used to be teammates, me, but they're not this season. No, they're teammates. Uh, Jeremy Frey so and no they, Clifton. No, I'm saying they used to be teammates and my teammates, but they're not this season. That'd be Because he lies on his own. That is correct. Wild Wolf Hunter Sports. Uh, it looks like Frey's going to get a lift onto the top. Wick Rare Racing's quadruped. 2022, I want to say. Yeah, Lost champion. Yes. I know I put it on the, in front of their front wheel well because they're the only Smosh champion to come back and try to get another one so far so we'll see if they can do that but seeing I, I kid you not they are second to last in standings with their teammate Chef Squid who is third in the line on the bottom very pitiful start of the season for Wick Rear Racing the only car on that team that's had any success is Nimrod who is also up front right now as for the Cup Series they've had more success but See if they can do anything in Smos, but I think at this point, 10 races into a 36 race season, that two of them are the last in standings. 190, almost 200 Ooh. points back. He almost has fun by Squid. Almost. Chef Squid, uh, unfortunately, Chef Squid, uh, he almost made a decent uh, championship run last season. The Cup Series at this track made a violation after coming off a pit road exit. And that, I think, really cost him um, potentially a championship. He only has one cup win. That was the Crown Jewel Zach 3 v 400 That 15, Chef Squid's Toe Hut Kitchen Toyota Supra. Let me try to lead a lap here. Leading a lap is two points. I think it's two points. Yeah, two points for a lap led. Or if you lead a lap. Fortunately, I don't think he's going to. No, take that back. He did get that lap. Uh, must have been close, though, because Wilmot was very close. Nope, take that back. Wilmot did get the lap. Took the game to score that right. He's had a very decent season, the 88 team. Staying clean, just kind of running their own thing. And they're 16th in the standings, not too shabby. Haven't gotten a win yet. There's that. Zach Lutheran's fifth in line at the bottom. Oh, bottom. That is <laughs> points leader Sam Oskin. I can tell that this might be great. I know it's race 10, but uh, it's shaping up to be their season right now. PS Motorsports. I don't believe they're really showing a lot of spice, but uh, well, it looks like they're going to get shuffled there. But, you know, you get the point. They've been up front. They've qualified very well the past few races. They've won two already, 10 races in. Looking to have a good season so far. Uh, Whilst that was all happening, David Dawn in the six took the lead. The rusty car. Yep. Believe it or not, he is eighth in the standings. Right in front of his teammate Pace Avery. Uh, that look who's on his bumper that won this race last year. I forget who won this race last year. He's right there on the out on the inside of Don. It was the 45, Ian Styles. Uh, I'd have to go back and check my notes. I know he won New Hampshire. I remember him only getting one win, but per chance he may have won Talladega last season. Not sure though. I I, I don't think so, but you might know more than I do. Uh -huh. Space guy, won a couple super speedway last season, had a very good season. Fortunately, uh, I think had the, met the same fate as Chef Squid when it came to his cup kind of playoff dilemma. Got Had one bad playoff race and it really cut him out of contention. Uh, he may have made the final four, I don't remember quite, but... Believe it or not though, he is actually the worst performing K&K &K Motorsports car at the moment. Third to last in standings, believe it or not, despite all that. 169 back from the leader coming into this race. And they got Potato Boy, teammate, um, sandwiching Riley Gorse. I know we talked about dominated Denver Motorsports Park. 
Looks like a potato wants to get up there with his teammate Space Guy, and you see Cooper. Cooper's not too far back either. I think this is a three-car operation, if I remember it correctly. It was 63, Zach. It was, uh, it was a 63 last season, and he finished second. Ah, yes. So, yeah, 63 is some Dan. Uh, he's no longer racing here. He's a cup driver now. So, uh, won't be able to defend that win. He beat, However, the he team beat, could. He, he, he beat Styles by through three three tenths of a second. Oh yeah, I remember that was a three wide photo finish. Three wide for third right now. Alex and VL. I know we've, I've, we've been talking about them every once in a while. They've been showing some speed here and there. All three K and K cars inside the top five right now. Let's talk about that. <laughs> That's impressive. Two of them leading up front, leading control in this race. I think everybody else is staying back, letting them run, keeping their stuff together. That's a smart move at this point. It's a long way to go. We're not halfway yet. And we Only still have this job up. Yep. Alex and Vidal trying to spoil this K and K party. 98 Wood Brothers racing. And, oh, aggressive block by Cooper yep. to keep Craig Pockers outside of there. But unfortunately, yeah, that's going to leave Potato Boy out to dry. It's from we video. have pit stop, so is somebody going to undercut this pit stop? Or yeah. not? I mean, this is going a little bit longer than what I would have intended. Green, I, I, I should have intended, but uh, I guess my mind go oop. But uh, we could very well see green flag pit stops. What I'm saying is somebody going to try to undercut this pit stop? We'll see. Still got a lot of laps to go and a lot of laps to crunch. But the only thing is that you don't want to come in by yourself. You gotta have a teammate. 100%. You ain't got a teammate coming in, you don't got no draft. You may have the advantage of not having to slow down for everybody, but that advantage goes away real quick when you get back on the track and on speed. But is, are we going to see the Chevrolets coming together? Are we going to see the Fords coming together? Are we going to see Toyotas coming together? Well, right now the Dodges are controlling the field. However, Craig really wants that lead. Three teams represented in the top five or top four for uh, Dodge. You see Brock Nelson's so already spoiled this party. See, saying, are we going to see the teams come down together as manufacturers coming down pit road? Your question. Yep. But it looks like all the Chevys are coming down to the bottom of the race here right now. So they may be looking to stop here soon. Yeah. At the moment, Dodge definitely in control. Top three right now. And Space Guide's really controlled the field. They have shuffled out the other two K and K cars, but Space Guide has shown he is the control car at the moment. Definitely could use his run for sure. He needs consistency. I want to say one thing. That five car is fast as hell right now. He Brandon just Nelson. went to the back. He just went to the back two uh, to the back two laps ago. And he's already up the ten. And uh, that was also his uh, the, not this lap, but the last time around lap uh, 18 was his fastest lap of the race at 48-2. Uh, and we'll see how that shakeups on the fastest and lap. Now he's right. very, he's not in the top 10 in fastest laps, but that's not what counts being up here. You know what I'm saying he went he went to the back two laps ago and already back up to third. It didn't take long. Yep, it looks like. Uh, Skyler Taylor, a Vegas winner, has shuffled out 17. They're they got their eyes set on the 22. They're breaking up the party now. I believe the 22 still got that lap. Brock Nelson maybe going three wide into one. Yep. It's been on both those parties. He's, had, he's one of the few cars, I'd say his dominance has transferred from this season, from last season to this season. Now, granted, I, don't see, he's not, I wouldn't say he's dominant so far this season, but 
Uh, seventh in standings is nothing that? to sneeze at. And who's that last car in line on the top? He hit the wall coming up too. Whoever that is. Talking about the 99. I guess. Like, there's well, quite a few cars back here. It's all about drawing distance, especially. Whoever that one that was from the front cam where I could see him first, he smacked the wall coming out too. Whoever that one. I'm not seeing one specifically off pace. So if anything comes of it, we'll probably find out. Back to the front, though. Nimrod has taken the lead. Not for long, though. Comes to 17, uh, uh, Brian Webb. For standings real quick, make sure no one's off the pace, per se. Or not fast slot, but... Nope, everyone is, everyone's in the draft. Only car out of the race right now is... Oh, and they're four wide in the front straight. Or the trioval, or whatever they call that. I don't know. Pace and Avery finally got to the front. But uh, it doesn't look like he's going to be here for long. But it looks like he's going <laughs> to shuffle out the 1 and the 29 on the top. Still not done. Right, here comes your Chicago land winner. I don't believe he went or to Chicago land. I mean, auto club winner. Eric Monaco? Yep, yep. Yeah, I just realized that number looks yep. horrible on the sides. Holy cow. Man, this team looks and so look good, but we, the, the numbers. Yeah, look who we ball winning back to the front. About to take the lead right now. They're, they're four wide right now. Yeah, the five is going to try to lead the lap. I think the 23 is going to get it, but they're four wide right now. 23 oh. quadruped led the lap four wide. It's getting intense, guys. Or I guess it's just the two of us. I don't know why I said guys, but. Well, we, yeah. Four That's wide again. Thing. Looked like for a little bit there between Avery and. Looked like uh, Monica might have tried to do something there. I'm going to say the big one's coming through with the way they're driving right now. Coming to halfway here in a few laps. Surprisingly enough, we're not at it yet. We got a feeling it's going to come in that drive because the way they're going in that drive, why are they going to hurt themselves? Because they're getting wobbly coming out of that drive with that very wobbly coming in the middle of that drive. Seeing the lead really um, shuffle at this point. We should see pits. We should see pits. Pits up soon. They're a lap or two. Well, I remember in the cup race. I believe that race was. 50 laps as well. I, I don't remember if the scratch the same. Oh, double zero in the wall. I told you they're about to slam in the wall. Not a hard hit, but enough to scrub off a ton of speed. It's Mark Lennard in the lead, but look who's behind him. Yep, yo, the lead. Good point, leader. I don't believe he's a let a lap yet this race, but that's about to go down the drain. No, that's the one I have my answer for that. We were talking about before the race, if anyone could even come close to cutting his lead. He's got a 41 point gap over second place on Marker Lennard, who he did just pass for the lead of the race. So, I don't think it's going to happen this race. <laughs> or in Hell talks. No. Lots of I aggressive get, driving. Zach, I guess you missed that in the trouble. Oh. Lee Moley. Parker and Matthew Hill almost got in these other. Matthew cut uh, cut off Parker and Parker almost took his nose off. Hello.
You just force them in the corner is all they're doing right now. Forcing in the hole. I wouldn't go around saying that. <laughs> But you know what it means, goddammit. I know. And speaking of Matthew Hill, he's going to try to take the lead here from Sam Otskin. Man, that was supposed to be a spin out. That is what exactly what I meant by that. He literally cut the nose off that uh, 21 girl. I bet you can see a dime between the front bumper and the back bumper. Here comes Prig. Krug Packers now. Daytona winner. Here comes the AP too. I think 46 is going to get at the line. We'll see here in just a second. No, maybe 88. Yeah, I think the 88 got it. I'd have to check the time and the scoring on that one. It looks like uh, the other Red Bull car, 124 fan. Yep, 88 got it by uh, two 100, two, two 100s. Ninety nine's back. Williams is back. Isaac Jacobs is back. At the moment, top line just doesn't look like it's gonna work. Uh, that look who's back on the bottom again. <laughs> I see it already. <laughs> Did not take long. The 57 and the 5, back on the bottom, right behind each other. Nope. The 5 and the 23 back behind each other, baby. Oh, my bad. That 5 car is fast as hell. In that 23. And again, 17's not the leader, it's just drawing distance. Let's see who led that lap. 25 Kid William, or nope, uh, 83 still holds the lead. Kid Williams may have stuck Early. a lap in somewhere. Well, I said, where's him at? Hello, where's the jet come from? Where did Jet come from? Definitely came from somewhere. Because here he is, right, taking the lead from third on the back straight. Space Guide's back. He wants to lead more laps. Ten points for most laps left. I think Space Guide currently looking hot for that right now. to go at this point. We're still half this stuff. So Space Guide retaking the lead on the bottom. Gonna add to that number amount of laps of lead that he has right now. Exactly what he needs for his standings right now. Still holding on ahead of that 33. Went above him in the corner to get a good entry down low. Who's team, who's team is the 33 on? So basically, uh, you know how uh, Track House and um, uh, Colleague have their little thing in the Xfinity series? That's basically Wild Wolf Motorsports doing a little thing with pole position racing. So Wild Wolf Motorsports did not have enough room on their team to hold Isaac Jacobs, so they decided to do a satellite entry, and they made a deal with Zion in pole position racing to make that happen. Oh, okay. 
kind of like how Shane Van Gisbergen runs the number 97 track house car and call on colleague racing makes any sense. You mean just like chicken bait does with me? Kind of, except it's not a satellite team, it's just satellite entry. So is Melissa and Pockridge are actually. Mummy, Melissa and, and Pozark is both teammates to me. My team. Melinda and Con. Yeah. Because Collins drives. So, uh, yeah, Space Guy's still able to hold that lead. It's impressive. Oh, somebody in the wall. Who just hit the wall right there? See if anyone's falling back. 88 was slowest that time. Uh, it wasn't 88. It was a it was a black car that hit the wall. Could have been the 25. Bull sitter, Kaden Williams. Because Angie Johnson is up there in second, I believe. Let's see if that's still true. Uh, nope, they're now longer second. They're no longer second. Cooper trying to come back up here and get this K and K alliance back going. So they're in fourth on that bottom line. Ian Styles and David Don in between try to prevent that from happening. Because K and K looking to be kind of like a dominant team right now, but specifically Space Guide. You got some other cars out here as well, showing some signs of dominance in their own ways. Times in the race, so. And wow, just like that, they work together. Oh no, they're gonna work against each other. This is going to really backfire on KK, but no, it looks like the six got the run, making the KK cars on the top work together, but no one behind them on that top line. That bottom line has got a lot of cars. Top does not have any at all. Dave Don looking to lead lap. Ian Styles behind him. They made just the move they needed to to get around. It looks like we have four wide on the front straight. Look who's fifth in line on the bottom. <laughs> oh, wrong car. Yeah, it looks like they made the four wide work once again. Again, that's just going to shuffle off KK cars even more. I think Zig Zagoon is the car that took it four wide on the front. As the pass of the lead potentially is the 45 of Ian Styles going to try to get around the six of David Don. Here comes Austin. <laughs> Don't, pat, don't, don't count out Zig Zagoon either. Two wins last season, that 0 6 car. Hey, Styles wants revenge because he lost by two, two tenths of a second last year. I'm talking about that 0 6. They had a big run coming into the corner. It looks like Nimrod had a big run too. Shuffled that 57 right out of line. Riley Gore's got a run now. Nimrod still has that run they had in the front straight, I believe. I don't think they've lost any of that speed yet. Except only, I think they lost some of it on entry there. It's slow up for the 16, but only some assuming based on how it looked. We're slowly approaching 10 laps to go. Question looming for myself is if they're going to pit. Reggie's surefire they're going to pit. I'm not surefire. Because <laughs> I don't know how much they got in the tank. I'm going to say, if we get a caution, it's, it's really going to put them in hurt. If you got a strategy call, a caution is going to kill it. Car in the wall in the back goes Batatna. It doesn't look like it. they are going to scrub off a ton of speed, but it's going to slow that line on the top down a little bit. Speaking of the line on the top, Riley Gorse and Brock Nelson working together stay ahead of Nimrod. Unlikely circumstance. All right. I haven't really seen the top used to keep the lead yet until just now, so it looks like that's going to happen. Face 
Jason Avery, fastest lap in the race. Unfortunately, I haven't rewarded points at this point. But uh, he's finally up here in the top five. He's tried a couple times, but I shuffle that every time. This time he may be successful. A lot of cars close to the wall there. I don't know if any of them hit it. Nimrod going to try once again to get her underneath that 16 and take the lead. Uh, let's see who got at the line. It was pretty close. Morse got it by, well, I kid you not, nothing. Uh, you're going to get a better time in scoring on the actual sheet, but we don't have that. We only have our uh, calculations to the 100th, not to the... Thousandth. Here they all come, Jack. Like Clifton, he's gonna take the lead on the bottom. Ten to go this time around. As Craig Parker's on the bottom. Gonna try to take that shuffle of the lead. Yep, wrong car. Went to go to the 98. The 88 looked try to get underneath that 98 there for turn three, but. Didn't quite have a run. Right again here again does not quite have the run. Unfortunately, yeah, they got run over by the 17. I say run over, but 17 had the run. The 88 did not. Hold on. Okay, I thought we were gonna go four wide to one again, and it looks like we were going four wide to two. 46 doesn't have the speed to keep up with them, so. That's going to shuffle down to three wide. 88 with actually a pretty decent run off the top. Fortunately, it's not going to be enough. GNS is next. Like Whoa. Four in the back. Watch that 83. Ooh, boy. seen the 83 getting crunched down a little bit didn't like it they're still four wide the 99 and the 93 and the 16 and the three 16 in the wall still four wide I don't like where this is going manual yellows are on so if there's a wreck I'm gonna have to make sure I see it oh boy That was a lot closer than I would have liked, but I think the uh, nope, still three wide, still four wide. I think, yeah, nine car. I think they finally shuffle that out. No, nope. they, they finally get it out of their system. No. Nope. All right, let's go back to the lead. Fifty-four is Skylar Taylor. It looks like the drawing distance is right. Nope, it is not. It was the fifty-eight. Lynn Jones led that lap. 94, Alex Nvidia, or not, I don't know why I said Alex, Alex Tanker. There's two Alexes in the field. Not Nvidia, but Tanker. Taylor on the bottom now. Behind that, Ryan, um, forget the, Ryan Cole. His name is Ryan, forgot the last name. Didn't want to confuse him with the other Ryan that we had. Little, Ryan Little, he actually left the league again. No surprise. He's not going to take the lead this time around. Six to go. Caution free for the most part. If they pit this late, I'm, I'd be danged. Yeah. 
comes Potato Boy, the 99, helpful from the 23. Twenty three is gonna get shuffled up top by Isaac Jacobs. And Potato Boy is gonna lead here with five laps to go here at Talladega. Did that way too quick. Talladega. I think that's the proper way of saying it. Well, the Chevys have invaded the Dodge Party. However, K and K racing, all three of their cars in picture right now. Of course, the Potato Boy looks like he's going to get shuffled here by the 33, Isaac Jacobs. I don't think I don't know if he's going to lap you this race or not, because I know at one point he got shuffled out, but this uh, looking prominent to be his first lap led. That, look who's fourth in line again. <laughs> and look who's seventh in line. In the bottom. 57, 5, and uh, believe it or not, 22 led the most laps. And again, that 33 will not prevail only lap. Tata needs a lap. For Dawn Patrol Motorsports, it's going to be interesting for constructor standings as they've been very aggressive on the lap leading the spectrum of that in both Cup and Smos. 22 with an aggressive block to the bottom on the 5. It's safe to say this 22 car has, for the most part, dominated this race. Unfortunately, the tires are tight and worn. May have used them up, and they have no help on the top. They may not even get this lap led, and they won't. Five's got it. Well, this is our point of no return, in say, per se. If we have a caution at this point, it will under end under yellow. I, I think have... there will be one way they're driving right now. If there's a caution late in this, it will end under yellow because I don't have my AC on to turn uh, overtimes on. Three car in the wall in the back. Double zero for Brenda Gonzalez. Not sure if they got a win last season or not. They were very dominant in that double zero, but hold on. This five car going to try to hold on for two more laps. David Don up here as well. Jet 64 on the bottom. I don't think we're going to make another lap. <laughs> Two laps to go. I'm going to white flag this time by. Here comes Jet 64 on the bottom in the 07. Has never won a Smos race. He's run a cup race at this track last season as a part time entry. He also has another cup win at Pocono to start off the season. This season in the cup. Not a single Smos win to show for it. He's going to try to get around this five car. Come to the white flag. But Brandon Nelson. He's just holding his own right now. No one has made a move yet. White flag in the air. Brandon Nelson. He won his last win. Came in the CCS at Old that, Spice. Zap, but look who's in third. His his satellite teammate. Ah, oh, here comes the 07 now. The 37, three wide. Genghis Khan gets cut off. The 07 keeps the lead. Does he have anything off of four? He does. Does the 07 block? He does. Jet 64, the five car has a run on the top, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Jet 64, first career Smos win at Talladega. There is your finishing results. Caution free and uh, no pit stops. But I bet you they made it very close, home field. <laughs> Might have. Might have. But Jet 64 is your winner. Second place, Genghis Khan. 
third place, Brandon Nelson had a pretty good day. Can't really complain yeah. with that. Unfortunately, he was so close to that um, win. I know, like I was going to finish that sentence, hasn't won a single race since CCS Old Spice in 2021. Unless he got one last season that I don't remember. But, uh, and Caden Williams fourth after starting pole. Not a bad day for him. Riley Gorse fifth. Led a few laps. Pretty good day for him. Same for Rubriana Gonzalez. First car, for first driver in the going to win. Exo with the top 10. Then you had David Don, another top 10. And the 0 6 Zig Zagoon trying to get their rhythm back going. Having a pretty rough start to the season. They're 26 in standings. And then Brian Webb ekes in the top 10 here at Talladega. Well, Reggie, you got any final thoughts before we uh, end the broadcast? No, I don't. And I just realized we had the Cup Series logo on our ticker background. Ah, uh, oh well. Mauled, seethe, cry about it. Your mom plus ratio, skibbity toilet, all that good jazz. We'll see you next video.